Okay, keep them coming in. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about the Royals because of this is it's this story in the papers that's triggered the whole thing. Uh, apparently, Duchess of Cambridge, Kate and Wills. Uh, Kate calls Wills babe. Uh, she let the pet name slip during a visit to the Chelsea Flower Show. So I thought we'd talk to Grant Harold, who is a former uh, butler to the Royals. Morning to you, Grant. Good morning, Mike. A standard slipping here, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Are you referring to me there? <laughs> <laughs> Not on this occasion. OK, thank you. Uh, do you know, I've, I've looked at the article, I've, I've been reading what people's comments are, and I'm a bit, I'm just not 100% sure if, if it had been picked up correctly, if, if the, the gentleman actually did hear what he thinks he heard. I'm, I'm not obviously sure because I wasn't there, but I just find it a very, um, I just find it a very, I find it out of character. I think that's the word to use. Oh, you don't think they they would call each other, babe? Well, I, personally, I wouldn't want to obviously give any information about their, their private lives, but I just think that, see, obviously I teach royal etiquette and, and I've, I've been lucky enough to actually do classes with um, with royals and, and um, staff of royals. And it's just, it's something that, we just obviously don't encourage. You know, when it comes to public displays of affection, it's, it's one of your other viewers, uh, listeners actually said, who thought, I think left a comment saying that, you know, the odd, the odd uh, hug or holding hands or a, or a, a kind of peck. I mean, that's, that's fine. You know, that's not an issue. It's when you suddenly get to the situation of people um, actually trying to go for something a bit more serious. And, and it becomes quite, it can be uncomfortable for other people. I mean, it's a case where other people, you know, well, personally, it puts me off my lunch. So, um, it can be quite a, a tricky situation. Is it true, Grant, that they're not allowed, any member of the royal family is not allowed to hold hands if they're working? <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't be 100% sure about that because I think, again, you know, if that was, if you're talking about royal etiquette from probably 100 years ago, absolutely. You know, there was certain ways of doing things and, and that would be certainly something that would be considered inappropriate in public. But we're talking about the 21st century and, and I don't think I'd be wrong saying that, that royals today, that, you you know, I'm sure there's images of royals holding hands and, and that kind of thing. And, and that's fine because we are living in the 21st century and the, the royal family is, is obviously, like any other family, they're, they're human beings and they adapt to life like the rest of us. I've just been talking to somebody who is an etiquette expert uh, and she has told me that people still look to the royals to, to uphold standards in public. I think that that's true. I mean, the royal family are seen as a as the kind of model family, and people do look up to them. And you only have to look at uh, the Duchess of, of Cambridge. I mean, the way she dresses, the way she acts. You have young ladies that behave and act the same way. They go and buy the same dresses, they buy the same makeup, uh, they even try to have their hair the same style because they do. They, they kind of raise this kind of um, they put this kind of standard that that people want to aspire to, which is wonderful. Now, you've worked with, with many members of the Royal Family Grant, haven't you? Mm. So, yeah. so are they, you know, will, will Kate then have had a, a, a instruction, you know, a number of years ago on how to conduct herself in public? With that, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be 100% sure, but what I do know is working in, not just for the Royal Family, but working in these kind of homes where you've got the kind of aristocracy who uh, kind of learn how to behave. Yes, they obviously learn it in their schools and uh, in, in the private schools and that kind of thing, but they also learn it from, believe it or not, from the staff because you've got to remember, if they've got um, butlers or footmen or, or um, ballots, they learn from these people how to dress, how to lay tables, how to meet and greet the guests, how to... Um, how to do things and, and they learn it from from that first-hand experience and so personally I, I think uh, that a lot of people um, similar to royals and the arist aristocrats they actually learn from the from the people around them and also from their parents and grandparents I mean what better role models than the the, the Queen you know to have and the Duke of Edinburgh as as um, a role model for the younger the younger royals are they under pressure to to modernize and therefore relax a bit um, I don't know if I say under pressure, but I think again, like any family, it has to modernise. You know, it has to it has to kind of adapt to the the 21st century. But thankfully, they still keep a lot of old traditions. Which I'm a I'm a bit of an old-fashioned person when it comes to um, traditions. So I'm pleased to say they do keep things how they you know the certain things that they've they've done for hundreds of years. But at the same time, as I keep saying, it's the 21st century, and they're they're a family that that try to kind of keep up with the, the modern the modern era. And personally, Grant, leaving the royal family aside for a second, what, what's your view on kissing and cuddling in public? <laughs> Can't they get a room or something? Um, so it makes you feel awkward. 
It does. As I said, it's not the thing of uh, you know, holding a hand. I mean, holding hands and that kind of thing. It, it depends where you are. It depends the environment. You've obviously got to be careful which country you're in as well. Obviously. Yeah, good point. Um, but obviously in the UK, we're quite relaxed with that kind of thing. But people don't mind. So you'll see a couple holding hands. And you think, oh, that's really sweet. You'll hear them calling each other a nice name. But you know, a nice name is in darling, sweetheart, not bunny or bow or snuggle. You know, we're not talking to the family <laughs> dog or something. Grant, thank you for that. Grant Harold, uh, former royal butler. Uh, Grant makes an important point about uh, observing other countries' cultures, by the way. Mm. So if you come a cropper in that department with a public show of affection...